in this video I will explain to you the introduction to statistics and this is the part one of this chapter or this lesson so in this lesson our learning objectives are we will learn two things first introduction to statistics and the second is descriptive and inferential statistics we will see with the help of different examples and we will see what is the difference between the descriptive and inferential statistics so first we will discuss what is a statistics a statistics is the science of conducting studies to collect organize summarize analyze and draw conclusions from the data so what we do actually in a statistics first we collect data from different sources right then we organize the data after organizing we summarize and analyze the data and then we make conclusions from data and present our data to the audience in the form of graphs in the form of tables or etc so we will discuss all these steps one by one how to collect data organize data summarize data we will discuss this one by one so again statistics you can say is the branch of mathematics dealing with collection analysis interpretation presentation and organization of data the same definition but you can explain the statistics in different ways like this the word statistics is derived from the latin word status right so it is derived from the latin word status which is loosely defined as a statesman now the question is that why we should study statistics what is statistics why we should focus on statistics so statistics is the science and also the art of learning from data right from data there will will be data and we will know how to collect data how to organize data how to summarize data so we learn statistics with the help of data and then we present data to audience i already told you in the form of table graph etc as a discipline it is concerned with the collection analysis and interpretation of data as well as the effective communication and presentation of results relying on data statistics lies at the heart of the kind of quantitative reasoning necessary for making important advances in the sciences such as medicine genetics and for making important decisions in businesses and public policy now in statistics we will use different terms so these are the different terms we will use more frequently variable data population and sample right so you should be familiar with these terms because we will use these term in the next lessons as well so first is the variable variable is a characteristic or attribute that can assume different values so see the name indicates variable so it means that it can have different values variable and the values that the variable can assume are called the data suppose if i say x is equal to 50 or y is equal to suppose 100 or 90 whatever so x is the variable and its value is 50 so its value may be changed so variable is a characteristic or attribute that can have different values but the values that the variable can assume the variable can have is called the data then is the population a population consists of all subjects see the focus is in all subjects human or otherwise that are studied all members of the defined group that we are studying or collecting information on for data driven decisions right so population consists of all subjects you can take the example here suppose census when the government do census 
so we consider each and every person a sample a sample is a subset of the population right suppose we are doing a survey of a town and the town has suppose 50000 people so if we are going to consider 50000 people all people that is called the population but if we are considering a sample right a sample out of 50000 suppose we are considering only 10000 and then we are doing a survey or 5000 so this is called the sample so sample is the subset of the population a part of the population is called the sample and then is the random variables variables whose values are determined by chance so see what is the random variable whose values are determined by chance are called the random variable now what does it mean suppose you can take the example of the automobile insurance suppose 1000 people have the automobile insurance and out of 1000 5% claim every year so this is by chance right we do not have any 100% surety that whether the 5% will claim or 10% will claim suppose if i say 5% will claim every year so this is the random variable now the second part of this lesson is the descriptive and inferential statistics now we will learn what is the meaning of descriptive statistics and inferential statistics statistics is divided into two main areas two main areas depending on how data are used first is the descriptive statistics and a second one is the inferential statistics so the descriptive statistics consists of the collection organization summarization and presentation of data right when we collect data when we organize data then we summarize and present data to the audience that is called the descriptive statistics while the inferential statistics consist of generalizing from sample to populations performing estimation and hypothesis tests determining relationships among variables and making predictions if it is on the estimation basis just like suppose if i said that 1000 people have the insurance and out of 1000 i just estimate okay i will say 3% will claim this year so this is the example of inferential statistics which is on the basis of estimation or hypothesis while the descriptive statistics in detail first you have to collect data organize data summarize and then present the data to your audience in descriptive statistics the statistician tries to describe a situation right here i will give you some examples to describe the descriptive and inferential statistics descriptive statistics give information that describes the data in some manner for example suppose a grocery store sells eggs bread milk and fruit if 100 items are sold and 30 out of 100 were milk then one description of the data on the grocery store items sold would be that the 30% was milk the same grocery store may conduct a study on the number of bread sold each day for one month right they are just doing the research and determine that the average of 20 bread were sold each day the average is an example of the descriptive statistics right descriptive statistics another example of the descriptive statistics is consider the national census conducted by any country in every 10 years results of this census gives you the average age income gender and other features of the population to obtain this information the government must have some means to collect significant data once the data are collected they organize and summarize them finally they present the data in some meaningful form such as charts reports graph table etc 
so these are the examples of the descriptive statistics in which a statistician tries to describe a situation a graphical representation of a data is another method of the descriptive statistics example of this visual representations are histogram bar graph and pie graph etc right and we will also learn in this course histogram bar graph and pie graph how to make these graph in the next few lessons using these methods the data is described by compiling it into a graph table or other visual representation now is the inferential statistics i already told you that inferential statistics is based on estimation or hypothesis test inferential statistics makes inferences about populations using data drawn from the population instead of using the entire population to gather the data the statisticians will collect samples from the millions of residents and make inferences about the entire population using the sample the sample is a set of data taken from the population to represent the population probability distributions hypothesis testing correlation testing and regression analysis and again in this course we will learn all these concept what is probability distributions hypothesis testing in the next few lessons so all these comes under the category of inferential statistics in inferential statistics the answers are never 100% accurate right why this is the important point why the answers are not 100% because calculations are a sample taken from the population this sample does not include any measurement from the population example suppose happiness significantly raises a person's pain level tolerance this is the example of the inferential statistics and here i have made a slide to show the statistics so a statistics is divided into two areas descriptive statistics and inferential statistics descriptive statistics is based on graphs table and number first we collect data organize data summarize data and present data in the form of graphs table and number on the other hand inferential statistics is based on estimation and testing so in this lesson you have learned the concepts of inferential and descriptive statistics and few concepts of the statistics i hope everything is clear if you have any question you can write down on the comment section and i will try my best to answer it please do not forget to subscribe my channel on youtube sci academy and thanks for watching it